All right, this is a quick walkthrough on how to use uh, my Zola console. So I just finished making this. This is for uh, labbing Spider-Man text without having to put in the time of measuring what's uh, faster or slower. Um, and for generating quick ways of killing at certain thresholds. And um, the nice thing about this is it's hopefully gonna help us to find uh, some quicker kill thresholds uh, once the damage numbers get changed, if they ever do. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, jump into how this is going to look. So I've put in a help command for the sake of anyone using this, um, just to remind you of what is here, but let's quickly go over them. Um, so this calc uh, this allows you to type in a string corresponding to the moves in a combo. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you want to look at the combo which has a tracer, get over here, uh, jump, double jump, and then we will go overhead slam, tracer, uppercut. And you want to know how long does it take? How much damage does it do? Well, there you go. That just tells you. So that calc can be quite nice for uh, comparing different combos and seeing which, uh, which of maybe two competing cancels is going to be faster. Um, so yeah, that's what that is helpful for. And then you can type actions for a reminder of what, um, what letter corresponds to which action. And so most of these I think are pretty intuitive. J for jump, L for land, uh, the two different cases of P for the different punches. And the only thing in here uh, that isn't necessarily intuitive is N for Saperin tech. I just figured since it ends with a N sound Saperin, um, it sort of made sense because both cases of S were taken by Swing and Symbiote. Um, I guess the only other thing to note here is that this swing, you say, well, there are so many different types of swings. There's high swings, there's low swings, there's uh, swing cancels. In terms of comboing, these are all basically the same, at least in the best case scenario, no one swing is ever better than just a high swing. So this sort of, you can understand this as high swing, but in some situations it can be other swings too. Um, then, the other thing that this tool can do is uh, to generate all combos up to a given number of frames. So let's say 300 frames, um, which is, that's five seconds. Um, so that's sort of our limit on the combos we're gonna generate. Don't go over 300 frames. Uh, do at least, let's say 250 damage and how many such combos do we want to generate? And it'll pick the fastest ones. So let's say 10, give me the 10 fastest combos, which take less than 300 frames and deal more than 250 damage. And then out it spits all these combos. So Tracer Swing, Tracer Fame Stack um, is going to be your fastest one for killing a squishy. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. That said, um, this can potentially miss some things. Um, this is doing some pretty aggressive pruning since there are so many different actions you could take in such a short time. The branching factor for this problem is huge. So I am not exploring every possible combo. I'm just ignoring the ones that don't look promising. But if you wanted to explore more combos, you would gen F for full, so fully generate the combos. Now this is really slow, and at least on my computer, if you do more than about 70 frames, um, the branching factor gets too big, it's trying to track too much information at once, and the console just crashes. So let's stick to 60 frames, 250 damage, and it's probably not gonna find 10 combos because this other one didn't even find, like it found, what, three of these combos were shorter than uh, 60 frames, so we can expect maybe three, maybe if the search algorithm is finding more stuff that would be interesting, but um, it does a longer search, it actually does find a bit more stuff, which is interesting, and sometimes these will just be uh, obvious permutations of each other with like random traces woven in that don't do anything, 
um, which is fine because really if you just look at the top one that's going to give you the fastest one most of the time and sometimes as you look further down you're going to find something a bit different. Um, but yeah, really don't bother using this for something over um, over 70 frames. It's just not going to work very well. Um, you're going to be waiting there forever and then it's going to crash before you get the information that you want. Now, um, last thing, when you are generating, uh, say you just want to generate every possible combo um, that is uh, within the confines that you list and not just the first 10 you find or whatever. Well, we can say, let's go up to 300 frames. Uh, let's say it has to do at least 300 damage and a limit of infinity. Um, and now it's just gonna spit out every single combo it finds that does at least 300 damage and takes less than or equal to five seconds. And so, yeah, I mean, like there's obviously a whole bunch of stuff here. I don't know how, oh, I can't even scroll all the way up. That's how much it filled up the console. Um, but it was there, so I thought I'd mention it. Uh, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know if you have any problems using it in the comments. I'll try to reply. Um, I'm gonna add more stuff in the future. Like I want to uh, customize the starting state so that you can start it with the player in the air or with an overhead or with only one uppercut. That's all going to come later, um, and I will add a little uh, additional tutorial for those things once I do that. But in the meantime, uh, yeah, let me know if you're having any issues. I might also make a tutorial on how to install this if anyone needs help. Uh, you can't just download the executable because that's really bad practice. If you wanted to do that, don't, don't do, the, don't trust me. You don't know me. Um, but. Uh, yeah, you can compile this yourself if you have some way of compiling C++ code. And if you don't know how to do that, let me know. I'll make another tutorial for it. Hope that helps. Uh, happy combo hunting. Catch you later.